Hi everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark, a regular feature in which I show you a tip or trick in 5 minutes or less to dramatically increase your WordPress workflow efficiency. Today I'm going to show you how to take your live site from a host that uses cPanel and download it and import it into desktop server really quickly and easily. Um, there are many ways that you can create an archive, but this is a way to do it manually, and this is a way that most cPanel hosts allow for you to do it uh, without too much effort. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, our friends over at an honest host have given us some space to work with. And honesthost.com is a company that uh, does boutique web hosting, and they're very, very customer service oriented. So they're a great company if you want to uh, look into them. And uh, in, in my cPanel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my file manager. And the first thing I want to make sure is that I'm in the proper directory. Uh, in order for me to download. So the thing you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to look for your WP content file uh, directory, your WP admin, and your WP includes. Those are the files that are necessary along with these files that you can see to make a WordPress installation. There are two parts to WordPress installation. There's the database and then there are the files. We're going to go ahead and do the files first. And the reason that I like to do this on the host itself using their file manager is because they have the ability to do a compressed file from your files and then download it. So it's very quick and easy. However, if you want to download everything via your FTP program, such as FileZilla or something like that, you can download all those files and then compress it manually yourself. But I'm not going to go into that because I only have a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and select all, and then you can see I've got this compress option right here, and I'm going to go ahead and compress it, and I'm going to call this livesite.zip. And I'm going to compress it. It only takes a few seconds. Of course, depending on the size of your site, it might take a little bit longer. And now I've got livesite.zip. First thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download this. While that's downloading, I'm going to go back here into my cPanel and I'm going to go to my PHP my admin. Now the PHP my admin is where your database is stored. I'm going to click on my database name which in this particular case is ANHH demo and you can see I've got all of my WordPress database entries right here. Once again if you have a larger site it's going to be a little bit bigger of a database, but I'm just doing this for demo purposes. Once I've clicked on the proper database, which by the way, you can look at and find in your wp-config.php file, which is in your root of your WordPress directory, um, you can find the name of your database. I'm just going to click export. And once it brings me to that, I just click go. And in about a couple minutes you're going to have yourself a nice uh, database file. So if I go and I look in my downloads directory, I've got my live site and now I've got my SQL file. Now on Windows it's really easy to add your SQL file or your SQL file to your compressed file. On a Mac, you have to decompress the zip file, add it, and then recompress it. I know that there are uh, programs that you can get on a Mac in order to do what I'm going to do with Windows, but uh, I have never used them. So you have to do your own research and find the, the utility that'll do that. So I'm going to take this SQL file and I'm just going to drag it into my zip file here. Okay, now if I actually look in my zip file, you'll see that there it is. So now, believe it or not, that's all I need to do and I've got myself a nice compressed archive. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up desktop server and I'm going to click on export import or share website. I'm going to go ahead and import it. And I'm going to go to my downloads directory and there's my live site.zip and I'm going to call this live site and click next and it's going to go through the import process. And the import process is done. So theoretically, now that I've downloaded everything and imported it, if I click on this, it is time to tell. Here we have it. And 
We are working locally, as you can see, livesite.dev.cc. And I can log in using my bypass login that comes installed free with desktop server premium. And there we have it. We have our site. And that's all there is to it. Quick and easy, just like that. So you don't have to be scared about pulling your site down live. And the reason that you'd want to do that from pulling a live server is, first of all, you should be working locally most of the time anyway. But the other reason is, let's say your site gets hacked or something like that, and you need to figure out what's going on. The best way to figure out what's going on with a hacked site is to bring it down locally and play with it and figure out figure it out, fix it, and then upload using the deployment feature of desktop server or some other deployment option. So I hope that helps, and we'd love to hear your suggestions. So please feel free to let us know what you think, and also feel free to give us any suggestions of videos you'd like to see. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.